Hey there, Imagineer here. So today we're at the D23 shopping spree by Destination 23. Kind of don't know what to expect. Okay guys, so we were at Contemporary Resort. We tried to get in, but they said the parking lot was full. So they told us we had to park at Magic Kingdom and then take a monorail or bus to the Contemporary Resort. And they said that the time slots are extended now because of everything that the lot was full so everyone is coming here and I just don't know how this is gonna work out to open it since we're waiting in line. Oh. Cool. I didn't bring a pen so I can't fill that up. Oh, gift card to Lug. So we sponsored the whole event. Whoa. Okay, so they have these release dates for these lug packs. Cool. Oh, so they did include a pen to fill out the stuff, and they also have crayons in here. Let's see what the other stuff is. Oh, they're like postcards. It's a coloring book with crayons. Yay! Good job. <laughs> good morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, I love this. Wow. I live in Florida, so. Look at this cute mug. Keychain, notebooks. Here are the prices for everything. Mickey! That's cute. It's $32. We have a sweater here. And then we have a nice cute tumblers. Spirit jersey, this gold member on the back. Look at the sleeve. Magnets. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this was the first store. It's called the Walt Disney Company store. There was a lot of amazing merchandise here and they mostly had long sleeves and hoodies since it's the fall season. I loved all the designs and there are lots of mugs, travel canisters, notebooks, hats. Uh, they only had one launch fly at this store, which I did get, and it was the D23 backpack. Everyone was grabbing those right when we got in, so I'm glad I got one for myself. They did also have some regular backpacks too. They had license plate covers, they had magnets, and an exclusive pin. <laughs> We just finished one store, we spent $200. <laughs> uh, oh, Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're welcome. <laughs> cool. Oh my gosh, look at those, Lila. <laughs> look at these giant bags. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. I don't even know what to do. Oh. Yeah, maybe Orange Bird. This is for 2024. So this next store is called Ink and Paint Marketplace and they had multiple vendors. The first main store is called Log and they showcase some bags that are releasing in Epcot next year. They also had this really adorable Winnie the Pooh design that's releasing soon too. I really love the orange bird one out of all the designs. The material is a really soft polyester and it's lined with foam on the inside, so I liked how unique that was. They had so many different bag styles. They had bucket hats, travel cases, purses, and crossbody bags. So here I was lucky enough to meet Kate from Lug who saw me recording and asked if I wanted an exclusive look at the new bags. She helped me set up and was really kind to me so I really appreciate her. But look at these designs you guys, like they're so cute and very sturdy, it's just really good quality bags. This run Disney bag is already being sold at Epcot and the rest are releasing in 2024. 
So the Olu Mel bag has this awesome Mickey hat on, on the back of the bag. We have Orange Bird looking fresh as usual, and this bag actually says Flower and Garden Festival 2024. Figment has the same words, but I love the font they chose for this bag. We have Smirking Winnie, and on the back it says his name. Nice and simple. Chip is on this red plaid bag representing Canada. And then Minnie with an Italy bow and this phrase in Italian which I looked up which translates to life is beautiful. I love that. And last but not least, Mickey in a cute Germany outfit. So I just want to say thank you to Kate for allowing me to get exclusive footage of those bags. <laughs> wow! Look at the bees! Look at that! The vintage stuff. Oh, that's cute. Cost one soda to the lady. This person actually needs to take one French fry from the lady. Oh wow, that's so cool! So yeah, you're trying to get rid of all your items. Yeah. If you want to play chaotically, everyone's rolling at the same time. <laughs> If you want to play a little more Ooh. slow pace, yeah. one by one. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Really fun. fun, fun oh, that's awesome. It's called Food Fight. It's called Food Fight. Yeah. Oh. This is the same okay. game, just Jack. And yeah, yeah. Piece. Yeah, we still awesome. It's only the, <gasps> our last game. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Little characters, Sandy. So you can use them, like, oh. if you have any games. Uh -huh. Well, you can just play with them. Yeah. yeah. If you have, like, you know, Monopoly or Clue that has any kind of pieces, you can use these instead. Oh, that's so awesome. I will say that the face is in there but it will yeah. come out so most of the moms I know they just like glue it in there yeah so it stays. Oh, okay so little stand whoa oh that's cool okay. my daughter puts them in her miniature oh, box oh my gosh her shelf, so. yeah that's awesome oh my gosh oh, are you giving are you giving it to her she's just holding it right no, she can. oh my gosh oh, yeah. thank you oh <laughs> I thought she was just helping. <laughs> have like a hundred other games online. Oh, Disney thank and you. So you oh, the, yes. We will for sure. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Okay, I will definitely look into that. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. Oh, they're free. The whole thing is a gift with any purchase. So if you oh, buy with any, any purchase, you'll get them okay. All. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the a guest to them too. Unless you look really pretty as a princess. <laughs> <laughs> so this was like a train station area, and I just wanted to look at this area, but a lot of the trains were really expensive. They were really nice because it was like vintage Mickey, and there was also a Frozen train and a Toy Story train. So yeah, this was just a really fun section too. Oh, I love this Mickey with the, the ice cream ears.
Magic hat check. That's so funny. <laughs> we sold it to a magician here on Friday. It was kind of wow, cool. that's amazing. Magic castle over in uh, California. Oh wow. Well, it's so an actual magician bought a magician. That <laughs> that's great. It's yeah. amazing. I love the make. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. I love it all. <laughs> See the snapping turtle? Yes. <laughs> that's so Poor cute. Guy. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. (laughs) For Donald, right? Guys, have a good time. Thank you, thank you. (laughs) Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Cool. Who is it, Lila? Orange bird? So I went to the Sunglass Hut area. They're really nice. They showed a bunch of Ray-Bans to me. And they also showed me that they had sunglass cleaner and eyeglass cleaner for $15. The Little Mermaid design was $17, but everything else, like the mini Goofy and Mickey Mouse ones, were $15. So this is the Rock Love station. So Rock Love Jewelry was founded by Allison and she was actually there. She was showing me different pieces that she designed. She is so passionate about her work and she does amazing job with everything that she creates. There were a lot of Star Wars pieces, there were really cool lightsaber necklaces, there were lightsaber earrings, there were also Disney princess items, they had this new line which is Moana, they had the wave necklace but it was sold out by the time I got there. Allison also showed me an Ursula locket which actually was really amazing because if you open the locket they actually had the notes that Ariel sung which are transcribed correctly in the same tune that Ariel sings and that is just a beautiful necklace. I was so happy to be able to meet Allison. It was just a great opportunity. I appreciate her. She had a lot of great pieces that she created and I just loved that booth so much. So this area was just for the citizen watches. They had different Disney watches like princess ones, they had Mickey Mouse ones, Minnie. They had Star Wars watches and a few Marvel watches. I just wanted to look at them because they were all really shiny and pretty. You actually got a free pin if you purchased a watch with them, so there was like this little gumball machine. So I thought that was really cool. And yeah, this was a cool booth too. was a corksicle stand. Uh, there wasn't really much here that I haven't seen before. It was kind of just the normal corksicle stuff that you can get at the parks, unless I missed something. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of just passed this one. After corksicle, there was a Joffrey stand. I don't drink coffee, so honestly, I didn't stop at this one either. <laughs> the next stand was a sock stand, and they mostly had large sizes. 
so it was probably just for men <laughs> but they had a lot of different designs Disney 100 there were some Muppets ones they had Mickey Mouse ones there were a few Hercules ones and cars yeah so there are a lot of Pixar ones goofy they were really good quality I don't know about wearing high socks in Florida just it doesn't work out it just gets too hot here so it was just a cool one to look at I do love socks but didn't decide to buy any this time Hello. Hello. Hi, hello. Oh, wow, thank you. Hello. Good morning, hello. Good, thank you. Thank you. Wow, this is very nice. Imagineering story. <laughs> Some pens here, four dollars. Wow, that's pretty gorgeous. Gosh, you guys, it says Walt Disney Imagineering. So that was pretty much it for the shopping. We passed by this Disney Visa Chase booth and they said to show our Disney Visa cards and we got a free Groot lithograph. So that was really cool. So we really had a fun time. We ended up leaving around 2 p.m. We had to take the monorail back and a tram. So we were really exhausted by the time we got to the car because it was hot outside. 
I just want to say thank you all for watching this video. If you really like this video, please make sure you subscribe so you can see what adventures I'll be up to next. Thank you guys for watching and have a Disney filled day. Bye! <laughs> We're here. We made it.